Bad mailman. A Warrensburg postal worker pleads guilty to dumping mail in the trash and drinking on the job. KBC 9 Scott McDonald spoke exclusively to the now former postal employee tonight. Apologetic, remorseful, David Thompson told me he never meant to hurt anybody, but the mail, well, it kept coming. And as the postage piled up, so did his problems. Today, he delivered a guilty plea in federal court. Do things the wrong way. David Thompson yes. tells me he worked at the post office for 21 years without any problems. Then things spun out of control. I just had had some problems. The Warrensburg Post Office thought so too. An undercover investigation was launched after reports of Thompson drinking on the job. In December of 2013, a covert camera was put in his mail truck. He was caught drinking five to eight beers a day while out on his route. It was also revealed a lot of mail never got delivered or was very, very late. All in all, around 20,000 pieces. How about you? Those on his route putting two and two together about mail that never made it. Father's Day card. $200 in cash. Well, I was having a friend send me money and I was waiting for it and it never came in the mail. I went to the post office. It wasn't there, so I don't know. A jewelry order. They never showed up. So I was wondering, like, what happened at first, and then I heard about this guy and just figured he just threw him away or something. Now, to the folks who maybe lost mail or never received their mail, what might you say to them? Um, you know, I, I'm really sorry. I never meant to hurt anybody. I never meant to, um, you know, take anything, or, or that was never the intent. Some mail stored at his home or dumped in the trash. Thompson says he was overwhelmed with the amount of work coupled with the substance abuse problem. I know I've hurt my family. I know I've let my friends down. I know I've let the community down. And, you know, I'm really sorry for that. And that was Scott McDonald reporting a sentencing date has not been set for Thompson. He faces a maximum sentence of five years in prison and a $250,000 fine.